Hi, my name is Alexey Konashevich. Let's unpack the value proposition of blockchain for real estate. If we want blockchain to make any difference, we inevitably come to the idea of a blockchain-based property registry instead of old-fashioned client-server systems. So a fully featured blockchain estate registry is the premise of our today's discussion. Title tokens are the cornerstone of this system. They will allow users to manage their property rights directly on the system online. Firstly, what we notice in blockchain application, Alice directly interacts with her property record in a digital form through a mechanism of private and public keys, known as asymmetric cryptography, where a token is attached to the user's public key, which plays the role of the address and user's private key that can authorize a transaction. Secondly, the title transfer and payment, payment in a digital form, happens in one transaction. It's called an atomic swap, by the way. They don't need anyone to control the deed and settle it down. Normally, in traditional relationships, they would need an escrow account and a trusted third party that releases the payment once the title deed is officially registered. But if Alice and Bob decided to commit a transaction on the blockchain, Alice just needs to transfer her title token to Bob while Bob pays in return. So the seller won't be able to take the cash and disappear without transferring the property. The blockchain cuts the middleman as there is no practical need for it anymore. Here appears another shortcut. You see, the blockchain transaction with a title token that represents the title right, does not need any further registration elsewhere. The blockchain is the registry. At the bottom, blockchain is just a kind of database, and there is nothing wrong with using it as an alternative to the centralized database. More so, blockchain as a database outperforms its centralized relative, specifically in data protection. In the blockchain, the records are irrevocable and immutable. No other type of database can ensure such a level of credibility to electronic records. That is why there are no countries in the world that allow direct access of users to the registry. Old-fashioned databases are fragile. They require so much protection to ensure that data is safe and consistent. It doesn't mean that it's impossible to provide such services on a centralized system. But the cost of mitigating risks, letting millions of people directly manage their records in the same database are so high that no government has decided yet that it's worthwhile. While the blockchain is designed in a way that it can withstand the most severe DDoS attacks, man in the middle attacks, and a bunch of other threats which the centralized system is not capable of by its design. What about legal issues? The truth is that the vast majority of deeds are simple and typical. Having verified digital identity and step-by-step -step formalized legal procedure, it's feasible to automate the transaction. Very similar happened with company registration. Nowadays, nobody creates company constitution and other documents from scratch anymore. We use so-called replaceable rules, so anyone can register and manage their companies with a click of a finger, without lawyers and registrars. What prevents us from doing this in real estate transactions? For all typical deals must be designed model smart contracts, users will be able to open an online marketplace, find a sample deed and follow the smart guide designed to exclude possible mistakes, which otherwise people would do. Of course, it will be hard to automate every transaction and situation, but the system can be designed to let people do if they know what they're doing and don't let people commit transactions which require the attention of a professional. So complicated situations should be resolved by those who have that authority. The title token needs to be initially certified. Therefore, the very first record associated with the title token will be a certificate record or a certificate token, if you wish, by the registrar. The advantage of this system is that everything is transparent and immutable. Once the registry authorities confirm it, 
for any further transaction, it doesn't need a registration again. So Bob buys the title token from Alice. He knows that it truly represents the property right that it refers to. And there is no need to register the transaction once the token gets transferred to Bob's address. Then Bob can sell it to Dave and again they don't go to the registry office. Transactions are irrevocable and the token, even being transferred to Dave, preserves that connection with the initial certification acknowledgement of the property right done by the registrar for Alice. There are a lot of uh, cases that require manual interaction with a registrar again. Suppose Alice lost her key or died. There are, must be an authority to address these and all other uh, possible legal issues. And there are protocols designed for this. We shall talk about them another time. Meanwhile, before proceeding to further discussion, let us summarize the advantages of this system. Proprietors and interested parties win from this as they reduce their transaction costs. There are no intermediate registrations. The tokens circulate in the system free from bureaucracy. The user needs a register or a conveyancer only a couple of times through the lifespan of tokens to acknowledge the property right to get it transferred from the centralized database and then only when and if they encounter a legal complication. Other than that, the proprietors directly manage their rights on the registry using model smart contracts. There is no need for brokers and lawyers. You may have all of them, but it's not that crucial like in traditional transactions. You may think that it is only about saving money for property owners and buyers and making life easier for them. It is, but this creates a premise for tremendous market transformation. Having such a cost-effective system for real estate transactions and managing property rights makes so much difference for the economy. We will see not only exponential growth of real estate transactions, but new forms of economic activities, new markets, new types of transactions and investment schemes, and new ways people interact. The economy will have a strong push, reduction of transaction costs, reduction of bureaucracy. Up to 90% of bureaucratic procedures are not necessary, as well as the army of public servants that taxpayers maintain. With blockchain, the society gets a transparent property registry that allows creating an accountable system of permits and public services. Say you want to build a house, extract minerals or significantly change a landscape. All official procedures can be designed on the blockchain. Permits such as building permit, an architecture permit, environment and historical heritage or whatever any concessions and authorizations can be attached to title tokens. This will make the process transparent for both the owners and the authorities. What about public and commercial services? Do they lose? Well, to some extent, yes, because you don't need that many people in the industry. It might be a hard political issue, but there is only one right answer to this. Those whose task is to serve have no legal interest in the property. This is not their business, how the owners manage their property rights. It's a free market. Economic agents are not forced to buy services they don't need to buy. Surely governments must take care of people uh, who lose their jobs. But this is how the progress works. There are no chimney sweeps. We don't see lamplighters on the streets anymore because these technologies have become obsolete and have been replaced by new technologies that don't require so much labor. So let us now be a bit creative and draw uh, new economic scenarios in the real estate. This part of the video illustrates what new horizons open blockchain and gives a bit of a taste of how market can change. The first obvious thing that comes to mind is fractional ownership and its possibilities for investing in real property. With this system, you can create millions of tokens that represents legal rights on one piece of property. What is the advantage of such a system? Can you spend 
one spare thousand dollars to get a fraction of some property. Unlikely it will be a reasonable deal. Transaction costs will be so high with blockchain, it won't be a problem as there can be no intermediaries and transaction fees even in the most expensive blockchain networks are still reasonable. Fractional ownership opens new opportunities for more effective investing in property. Say Alice has a plot of land represented by title tokens. She creates a smart contract for real estate development and contributes her tokens to it. She creates investment tokens on top of it and people buy them. This is how they get money for the development. Once new property units are built, the smart contract transforms their investments into strata tokens. Some of the units, strata tokens, they can sell or rent out, so their business will thrive. But in all these steps of development uh, tokens, both investment tokens during the development and then property tokens can circulate in the economy, changing their owners that will create such an important quality for the property investment liquidity let's look at another example i call it unbanked mortgage in this scenario alice wants to buy a property say it costs one million dollars she commits her down payment for example one hundred thousand dollars then a credible professional does due diligence evaluates risk verifying if alice can pay the mortgage and attaches his report to the smart contract. So this is how investment tokens appear. Investors buy these tokens on the free market, so to say investing in Alice's loan. Once she reaches the target amount, 1 million, she buys her dream house. The title token is transferred to her smart contract. So now the smart contract controls how Alice pays her mortgage back. Investors regularly receive payments and interest at at a agreed rate. If Alice stops paying, the smart contract will put up her title for auction. Well, you know what happens then. In this scheme, as you see, Alice owns her title tokens, but they are locked in until she pays her debt back. Creditors own their investment tokens that give the right to loan and interest payments, which is an analogy of mortgage bonds in the traditional market. They can obviously trade these tokens on the market. Banks are not necessarily excluded from this scheme. They also can become investors, meaning that they can also uh, lend money and acquire these tokens. Trade them if they want to. This is what they actually do anyway. But this application makes the market open, competitive, fair and more effective in terms of transaction costs. The next scenario is even more sophisticated. So nowadays, if you commit to a mortgage and your life circumstances change, say you need to move to another city, this mortgage becomes such a pain in you know where. Because selling a mortgaged house requires a lot of paperwork and costs. What if we look at this problem from the perspective of the proposed system? First, we eliminate all bureaucracy with automated smart contracts. So selling the mortgage will become much easier. This leaves us with a very interesting situation which I would like to unpack now. You see, if Alice sells her property, a fair amount of money will go to the creditor. The rest, what left? She, so to say, deposited in her property. This is her wealth and nowadays it is so hard to extract when you need it. And hence, it is an illiquid asset. This system makes it possible to deposit your income into a property and be able to extract its value much easier than now. So you can change houses where you live as if you rent this property. The difference is that instead of paying rent, you pay interest and accrue a big portion of your income into a liquid property. It's like a bank deposit, but with bonus, you can live there. We can talk about various use cases a lot. This topic is speculative as we can only imagine what innovative ideas people can come up with having such a flexible and innovative system. We have not even dived into the world of decentralized finances. For those who still have doubts, I can say only one thing. There is nothing wrong having an alternative, competitive system running in parallel, giving people options to choose. 
Australia has this experience having two systems, the old land system and Torrens title registry running in parallel for 150 years. With such an approach, we will be able to see the full power of blockchain technology. That's it for today. Hit like and subscribe. I appreciate your attention.